You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angelin Whitmire. This is video A of the series titled A Detailed Study of Keys Used in Field Guides. Let's start with an introduction to the material and then look at using field guides with a key based on flower color. This set of videos provides more detailed information about and practice with using different types of keys to identify plants. We'll be using nine different field guides and eight plants as examples for our study. Here's a list of the types of keys we'll be reviewing. We'll look at flower color. We'll look at flower color with shape. The flower color with a description. Using a structural features type of key the dichotomous key, a pictorial key, and using the patterns method with a family key. Because this video series contains a lot of information, too much for a single video, I decided to break this info down into shorter videos, which you can view at your own pace. You can also rewatch a single video about one specific type of key when you want a quick review. Each video includes detailed photos and explanatory comments. I encourage you to stop any of the videos at any point, allow the information to sink in, perhaps practice a bit with a field guide and wildflowers in your area, and then come back to the video series for another piece. This first video focuses on the keys based on a wildflower's color. We'll look at three plants and use three different field guides to identify them. Let's start with the simplest key, which is the one you're probably most likely to already be familiar with, identifying a plant by the color of its flower. For this first example, I'm using Wildflowers of the Smokies. So let's pretend that you are walking in the woods in early spring and you spot this patch of wildflowers. As you get closer, you can see the purple color and the details. So let's open Wildflowers of the Smokies to the section of purple flowers. Then you turn the pages to each selection, looking for the one photo that matches what you are seeing. Ah oh yes, it's the crested dwarf iris. You then read the brief description and find it matches perfectly. The crested dwarf iris has the scientific name Iris cristata. For the next example of using a key based on a flower's color, we turn to the National Audubon Society Field Guide to Wildflowers, Eastern Region. Here's the flower, found low to the ground on a plant about 8 to 10 inches tall. Here's a close-up image of the flower, looking upwards into the flower. If you have this Audubon Field Guide, I recommend pausing the video now on this double image of the flower and see if you can identify it yourself. Okay, now let's do this together. This is a yellow flower. So we turn to the section of the field guide which has yellow flowers. The Audubon field guide then breaks the color section down into subsections. We have to decide if this flower is radially symmetrical, daisy and dandelion like, bilaterally symmetrical, in an elongated cluster, or in a rounded cluster. It's easy to eliminate three of these subsections, the daisy and dandelion-like, the elongated cluster, and the rounded cluster. So that leaves the bilaterally symmetrical, which includes six photos. When we look at the six, we realize, nope, it's none of those. Okay, so it must be a radially symmetrical type of flower. As we look through this smaller set of yellow flowers, we come to the Cecil Bellwort, which looks like a match with our plant. The cross-reference for Cecil Bellwort is to a page of text with lots of information about and an illustration of the plant including its scientific name, Uvularia sessilifolia. Here's a third field guide which uses the flower color as a key. Wildflowers of Northeastern, North Central, North America, which is a Peterson field guide. I found this flower in a large grassy area. Again, if you have this field guide, I suggest pausing the video to look it up yourself. Okay, so this is a white flower, which is therefore in the first section of the field guide. 
The next step is to look at the top of each set of pages on the left-hand side. Read the page's title and decide if the flower might be on this page, starting with Miscellaneous Flowering Shrubs, nope, to Miscellaneous Showy Flowers, no, Aquatic Flowers, not that one either, until you get to Showy Clusters, Narrow Linear Leaves. Now we're getting there. Scan the illustrations on the right-hand side. The illustrations show the foliage as well as the flower, which is helpful for identification. I think we've got it, Star of Bethlehem. To confirm the identification, read the brief description which includes the note, Grass-like leaves often have a whitish midrib. All right, this is Ornithogalum umbilatum. We've just reviewed three different field guides which use the flower's color as the key for identifying a plant. Next up, we'll look at a key based on five questions about plants. I invite you to visit identifythatplant.com for more plant identification resources and information. You've been watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire.